Maybe you plan on going trick or treating this year. Maybe you've switched things up a little bit so that you feel it's safer for your family. The CDC disease, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention advising against traditional trick or treating In new guidelines. They say that the door to door tradition is just too dangerous because of the pandemic. Indoor parties, haunted houses are among the riskiest Halloween activities, but there are ways to still have fun while staying at home. COVID-19 has made this Halloween more than just a little scary. Some people will wear masks and a lot of people won't. And there'll be police officers around telling us to wear masks, probably. Here's some tricks to help you and your little ones enjoy the treats. The safest option, Halloween at home. So many of the things that keep the spooky spirit alive can still easily and safely be done at home, like movies, decorations, costumes, and of course, pumpkin carving. Family and friends can opt in for a skype -oween and virtually experience the happy haunts together. Consider trick-or-treating alternatives like trunk or treating, where families can set up stations in the back of their cars and have candy positioned at a safe distance and choose costumes that have a mask and gloves already a part of them. If you choose to go out, COVID-19 is unlikely to spread via food, but you should still sanitize candy packaging. I'll put out a bowl like I usually do and eat too much of it myself. Just don't be scared, be safe. Staying home, honestly, they're saying is the safest option for you and your loved ones. You can do traditional activities like, again, carving pumpkins, candy scavenger hunts in the house. If you do choose to go out, you do want to practice social distancing and make sure that you wear a mask and do that safely because they don't suggest wearing the cloth mask underneath one of your other masks for your costume. So just make sure that you're able to breathe easily. Jen.